Hey, everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and that's Charles Beeson. And today we're checking out The Cog in the Machine by Lagwagon. And this was a song that was dropped in the comments as a request, and we're hitting it up. Fuck yeah, bud. Fuck yeah. I think the two songs we've heard, we only heard two off this album, I think. Hang. The first two, Burden of Proof and Rain. Yeah, I remember Rain. I don't think we've heard any other ones off this, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. We've been checking out a lot of Light Wagon. <laughs> yeah, we have. A lot. And it's not a bad thing. Because we're seeing them at Riot Fest. Oh, yeah. Two weeks, baby. I'm really excited for this fucking band, dude. Like, originally, it was like, I'm really excited for Bad Religion. And oh, yeah. now that's changed. Oh, I'm still excited for Bad Religion. But now I'm really excited for Light Wagon. Oh, yeah. It's a weird lineup, too. It's like Light Wagon, Descendants, and then Bad Religion, and then... There's another band after Bad Religion. Yeah. I can't remember. But Dude, I I'm pumped. Yeah. This is going to be a blast. It's going to be a wild lineup. It's going to be a wild weekend. <laughs> it's going to be a wild weekend. You want to send this, bud? Absolutely. I like that little, uh, ref- the refrain there. Or the chorus, yeah. excuse me. Um, cripple is the man, David and Goliath. Yeah. Or force the giant's hand, cripple is the man, David and Goliath. Because we're paralyzed by need right at the beginning of it. Yeah. Hmm. Like, we have to work. Yeah. Have yeah. to work for somebody. The, just what I'm getting just based off the chorus there is we have to work. Yeah. Because we don't have a choice because we need it. And it's kind of one of those, so far, what I've seen, they're, like, using, uh, you know, certain things to separate us. Abortion, yeah. guns, creed, which is definitely. Yeah, 100%. Definitely. <laughs> um, or, yeah, they buy headlines. It's not funny. That's the thing that, like, irritates me about, like, capitalism. The yeah. shit that they use to, like, make money is just, like, unreal. Yeah. And they'll I love just, the they'll like, just cherry pick things and on, yeah. on, on both sides it doesn't matter. Like yeah. just big news things. And they'll cherry pick certain things that they know are gonna piss off their viewers. Yep. And then just run it. Yep. And it's just and to make money. It's, yeah. it's all to make money. So you're pissed off. They're making money off your anger. It's yep. just wild, dude. That's why I like that the common must unite. Yeah. Like we all gotta come together and that'll force their hand. The machine can't run without its cogs. Yeah. Yeah, cripple its demand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is, dude, and the, the fucking, du, 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 you know, just, it's almost like metal a little bit. Yeah, it's very, bit, and yeah. it's very melodic, too. It is, yeah. It's got that that beautiful melody with I, it. I'd say that it's not instrumentally m- melodic. I'd say yeah. it's his oh, vocals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like a metal beat, and then his melodicness is oh, like yeah, the 100%. punk that just makes it, oh, my gosh. Just brings it all together and makes it a tune. This fucking man, guys. I love this band. <laughs> For real. Like, this is, they slowly grow on me every week. Even when I'm like, this song's all right. And then later, uh, 
Stoke and the Neighbors. Dude, I, I've been listening to Stoke and the Neighbors the last week, like, on a repeat. <laughs> and it was, like, a low rating for a light wagon song for me, too. So My like, favorite part is every time we get ready to do a lag wagon song, this guy gets giddy. I do. I do he get gets giddy. super pumped. It's just, I, I'm starting to think this is going to be one of your top, top bands. Tier. Yeah, it's definitely 100%. growing. It's definitely growing. It's like, at worst, it's average. Yeah. Like it's, and then his vocals, there's just something about his vocals that I can like listen I'm, to all day. I, I'm really liking lag wagon a yeah. lot. But I love your, just your response to random tangent. Out of we, we, you just started your punk journey. I'd say at the beginning of this year. Yes, January. And then for me, it was like maybe the last year before that. Yeah, but it was very song sprinkled in. It was mainly Tony Hawk stuff. Out of every band that you've listened to, which one is your like favorite one that we've you've listened to so far? Probably Lagwagon. Really? Yeah. Give me a top three, just out of curiosity. Uh, Lagwagon, Bad Religion, No Effects. <laughs> All right, oh, that's the main ones we hit at that. Yeah, yeah. Which just makes this so much more fun. Yeah. Because I know that I'm going to enjoy this. It's Dude, no effects is weird for me because I'm still kind of soured on their live show. Yeah. I was like, it wasn't very, it was not great at all. And um, so every time when, like our no effects song comes on or like we're on our list, I was like, oh, I got another no effects song. But then I hear it. I'm like, this is fucking brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like so weird for me because I'm like, this is so good. But then, yeah. yeah, it's just one of those weird things. I just didn't care for them live, but their studio stuff is just phenomenal. Yeah, I it actually had a... Been, it could have been an off night, too, but... Yeah, I had a couple Lagwagon songs that I found on my own outside of this. Yeah. On accident. Oh, look at And you. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Really? Yeah. Using the enhanced thing? On yeah, Spotify? yeah, yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. You're going to know more punk songs before I, I do. Hey, it's great for long drives home. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Gives you a nice little blend to your uh, oh, playlist. Yeah. All right, guys. Enough of the tangents. We're going to finish this out. Section up a tight. Let the fuel run dry. The need to do so far. Definitely had a different feel. For sure. The only time the headphones are bad is when the sounds like that start happening. Yeah, that uh the outro there though got super melodic. It did. With the instrumentals. Like they started getting really melodic with the instrumentals in that second half for sure. Yeah. Especially that outro. Yep. And uh, they definitely were saying kind of what I was thinking, uh, supporting the stream of trickle down lies, yep. hog in the machine, where the fundamental, it not it didn't say were, but the fundamental gene, they need it to survive. So like yeah. we are, without that, without us, there are nothing. Yeah. Problem is we just don't unite. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah, we'd rather <laughs> fight each other. Yeah. I love the that line, holding its holster of the only strife for wealth. Pigs. Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's almost like, uh, I, I, I think it's kind of used in the uh, sense of, like, they're so wealthy. It's, like, kind of like on the verge of, you know, like, pigs are, like, uh, 
they're I don't know if they're actually gluttonous animals, but they're like But they, they are they're, pictured they're, as they're the gluttonous used animals. That, yeah. yeah. So it's kinda like you're imagining this like real rich person that doesn't need it and still going still wants for it. more of it. Yeah. Which I, I uh, think another thing, and then he dives not, into. I assume he's not talking about cops, and, and no, because that, that's just kind of too random. Because so. he's talking about wealth. Yeah, I love how he then goes into we only strive for wealth, mm-hmm. and I think the beautiful part about that is is that's what keeps a lot of people unhappy. Is that's all they're focused on. Oh, absolutely, and the we only. I think this is also clever uh, as well. Uh, you know, it's saying hey, of the only strive for wealth pigs or whatever and then at this last three words right here it also kind of points the finger at ourselves yeah like hey we because are we're the doing issue. the same thing yeah we're pissed at what they're doing but then we're trying to do the same thing that they're doing but we want to do exactly what exactly doing, which is yeah. part of the problem yeah and then if we wind up if you ever wind up in that scenario you're just going to do exactly what they're doing yeah yeah so it's a very well i feel put together lyrically uh Yeah, hundred percent. Instrumentally solid, and I love how it's solid. vocals out. You could take this as you know, kind of the government being, you know, the Goliath. Yeah, or even just big business, because I think like earlier corporate. during that first spot, corporate America, I brought up the corp. The you know, we have to work, so we have that need. Mm-hmm. And then you switched it. And you were talking about the first line where he was talking about. You could tell he's talking more about government. Yeah, and their stuff. Well, I assume that it was, since it's the song was cog in the machine. Yeah. Like, you know, the machine is all often used as like the government or the uh the system. Yeah. I guess is the best way to put it. So maybe not. the government's part of that system. You know what I mean? Yeah. But so it's like it's it's capitalism at its core probably is probably yeah. what it's going after cuz you got big business, yep. the government, yep. uh and then you got uh we're also the issue because we're not fighting against that like we should. Yep, and we got the trickle down system. And then the trickle down system. Yep. I so, love, I love how he threw in the trickle down lies because he's throwing in, you know, that trickle down economy that we all deal with. Yeah. Um, while also pointing out lies. Yeah. And you could even go after the the media thing I was talking about earlier. You could kind of slip that in there. The whole thing supporting the stream of trickle down lies. Yeah. For the people that are like, oh, you know. Uh, CNN's full of shit, and then they turn on their Fox News or vice versa. <laughs> yeah, hundred. I mean, it's <laughs> you can, those are interchangeable at that yeah, point. Yeah, so it, it's pretty wild. But yeah, so that's this whole song in general is uh, well put together. Absolutely. Where are you going rating wise? You got to do the rating dance. Seven point four playlist. Seven point six playlist. Hell yeah! This is a this is a banger. Shout out to whoever requested this. Absolutely. Um, freaking loving these guys. You're one of my favorite people now. Well, there you guys go. <laughs> High regards from Chuckles. 100%. Then again, I haven't really met a whole lot of people he doesn't like, so. That's fair. It's very fair. I like so, people. so take it with a grain. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got for this one, buddy. That's all I got. <laughs> Well, if you liked our reaction to The Cog of the Machine by Lagwagon, go ahead and hit that like for us. If you really liked what you saw here, go ahead and hit that subscribe for us. If you hated it, go ahead and hit that dislike button. I'm not going to act like I like it because it would make me sad, but do it anyway. That's fine, too. But we are two boys, one brain cell. He's Joel Norton. I'm Chuck Beeson. And that's all we got for you. Y'all have a nice day. Peace out, guys.